Hi, I'm Barbara Miller, owner of the Tally Marketing Agency, and welcome to my CoolPro CRM user demo, which will show you how effective CoolPro is as a fully customizable CRM solution for all B2B customer and prospecting purposes. Although originally developed to cater for outbound call center activity and dialing, don't be put off by the fantastic call efficiency functionality it happens to hold, as this truly is the best integrated CRM I've seen on the market, and I've seen and worked with a fair few. The area I'll be demoing within the CRM is insurance broker related, and I'll be posting more demos for other sectors shortly. So let's log in. So I've got my unique username and password to log into this, uh, the web-based CRM system. And initially I come to the account uh, list screen so I can see all of my data. You'll be overwhelmed by the uh, colours there. I like to colour coordinate the statuses because it helps to visually uh, see groups of data. Effectively, this is just an Excel spreadsheet that has been imported and all of these headings can be um, taken out and added to, uh, to your liking and can be topped and tailed for easy data manipulation. I'm just going to go into one of uh, these records right now and uh, take a look at what's behind the scenes. So this is a, a record view, so you can see everything in one simple easy reading pane, everything about this particular record. So looking more closely, we've got the account details here, the company name, address, telephone number and website. And we've got easy quick pop-up links here, this one to Google Maps so that you can see where they're based and also uh, the website link here, which is a separate pop-up that can come up. Very useful if you want to just get a quick overview of the uh, client that you've got. Um, the information panel here just holds information about the owner of the uh, record, who the salesman is for that area, and uh, each salesman can have preset um, uh, areas, uh, postcode areas and regions. Um, also the uh, data source, now this one may have come from a client referral for example. We've got a wrap up screen which I'll uh, show you a bit more detail uh, shortly um, but simply it allows you within the record without uh, going to a separate pop up um, the ability to create a note and give a response to what's going to happen or what has happened with this record on this incidence. The call, gui call guide just gives you, um, or logo panel as I call it, the ability to give some identity to your CRM. So you can put in your own logo and uh, company details there. Uh, we've got the contact uh, panel here. So each one of these tabs uh, can hold contacts and it's very easy to create a brand new contact uh, and type in with a pop-up window the new contact name and then fill in the relevant details of that particular contact. Bob Ellis here, he's the finance director and he's my primary contact. And I can put in quite simply his email address which also does uh, add value when you're wanting to do email marketing campaigns or sending out a specific um, uh, uh, email document to them from the uh, documents area um, section of the area. The information, additional information panel here. Um, holds all of the key information that we find out along the way. Um, so there are additional record fields, of which there's a hundred, so I've only used a few so far over these few, pan uh, few different tabs in the panel. Um, but there's things uh, that we want to find out when we're contacting a prospect, things like when they renew. So all of these things here um, have um, preset uh, um, drop down so I've put in things like um, mainstream uh, brokers of course if you feel that you want to uh, be able to put in a more local broker uh, that's necessary you can free type in there blogs broker etc um, you want to find out about the relationship of the broker um, that they have with the broker, how many might be quoting, whether they're on a fee or commission, also the premium spend bracket that they are in currently, um, how long they've been with the broker and when they last reviewed. All of these um, 
additional fields are really designed to give you a picture, story of what's going on with this particular record. And when you're looking at all of your data and you want to find out who renews in February, you can easily quick search to draw out all of that data across the whole database. To distinguish between prospect and existing client, I've got a, a client information tab here. So they may not be a prospect anymore, they may actually be a client and we can develop um, other additional fields in this section here. But for the purposes of this demo, I've just put in the uh, types of policies as a multiple selection field here. So you can put in and take out what uh, policies they do or don't have and also see areas that we need to maybe upsell or cross sell to. There's also an other information tab that I've put in which just holds uh, relevant uh, key information and financial information like employee numbers, turnover, nature of business and codes and references. What I'm going to show you quickly now is uh, how to use uh, the call efficiency and click to dial system by using this icon here. You can see I've just pulled up uh, our Zoiper soft phone, so it's just a, a soft phone software on the PC, it costs about $35 if you need call recording. If you don't, you can actually download it for free. Um, and also with the um, agent software, which basically is configured to so that the CRM can talk to the soft phone, we can click the icon to dial this number here, and it's just dialing up there. And you probably got frightened by hearing that as well. <laughs> So I've just called my contact and got a bit more of an update so I can go to my prospect info, update any inf relevant information that I've now found out about the situation. I can allocate it a next date. I'm going to give it a call again on Wednesday for whatever reason. I'll put it as a positive lead because I think this one's going somewhere and I can write whatever no ever notes that I want to here. Looks like a good... We'll look to call on Wednesday to arrange a meeting. So by diarising it there, I will actually put that into my diary and it will come up as my today's call list. I'll save and log this now and then it will flick straight to the next consecutive record in my list. So here we can see our company that we've just uh, updated, which is now a positive lead status. I'm just going to quickly show you how to search groups of data because that's quite important to know about too. Um, for example, I want to see what uh, new d select all of the new data basically so that I can call that because that needs calling. So I'm just going to search where the customer status contains new and there we have 23 records that haven't been contacted as yet and as you can probably see there's a, a few in there that uh, may need to be called March and February time. Um, I can easily clear that and if I want to find out um, about somebody in particular say we want to have a look at Jane Smith's data and see how she's getting along we can see that she's got one positive lead. We can see that she needs to get on top of some of this new data here. And she's got one other contact that renews in January that she's tried to call but hasn't managed to get contact with the decision maker at this stage. So I hope you found this uh, demo useful and if you want a fast turnaround on your CRM implementation by someone who understands your industry sector and can eliminate costly hindsight and deliver immediate insight to your business then why not give me a call and I'll be happy to provide a more detailed demonstration for you. Thanks for listening.